Hello everybody. I am Dr. Prasenjit Sutradhar, a vascular and endovascular consultant surgeon at Narana Health, Bangalore. Today, I am here to speak to you about varicose veins. Now, I am sure a lot of people would have heard about this and there are a lot of myths about varicose veins which I wish to dispel today. So why do we get varicose veins? Now, varicose veins can be caused due to a variety of reasons. It may be hereditary, passed on generation to generation. You might get it if you have been in occupations where you're standing for a long periods. For example, people who are working in the defense sector, uh, policemen, people who are standing like our bus conductors or postmen. So people who are in these professions uh, tend to be at more risk of getting varicose veins. So you can also get varicose veins if you have any blood clots in your legs like deep vein thrombosis. So there are a variety of reasons why you can get that. So what essentially happens is the veins in our legs, we lose the function of non-return valves in them, as a result of which the blood flow which is supposed to go up to your heart tends to stagnate or collect in your legs, which causes problems like you will see uh, big blue veins on your leg, you can have calf cramps, you can have itching, swelling of your legs and over the period you might notice that your skin is turning brown or black and some people who have very advanced disease actually have wounds or ulcers which refuse to heal and are sometimes very painful. Now varicose veins are treated surgically. So depending on how bad your disease is, you will need to undergo surgery to block these bad veins which are not in the blood properly. You also need to wear compression stockings. You will often see on YouTube or online there are a lot of creams and lotions which are supposed to cure varicose veins. These my friends, I'm sorry, do not cure varicose veins. What they do help is to moisturize your skin, which gets damaged when you have varicose veins. Thank you.